So when we look at the Orient and the rising sun in the lands of the Negrito in the Philippines, where we find the Negrito tribe and the short statue people that represent this winter time, this winter solstice, uh, the understanding of the Kona and the winter winds. So the tropics, the measure of these tropics between the Cancer and Capricorn were essential. When we look at our moon and the measuring in the of the earth and the Great Pyramid and many other structures on earth that had to be aligned according to this perfection of pi. Understanding the center because of these solstice, the core of the earth gave the the understanding of pi to develop this spherical understanding. So when we look at uh, tribes such as the tribe of Dan and the serpent and the seafaring and I'm in the hidden land, the land of the north and Adan and the land of this winter, when we understand Adan and the hidden land and this new world of America and which included these austral regions of the, uh, the Southern Pacific. So when we understand what uh, what it means to be a cult, it's hidden. And when we look at the term hidden, it is a Hebrew word that references a direction of north as well as hidden, the hidden ones. as we The land of the north, Amu, and the Asiatic. The Asiatic and Dan. When we look at Dan and the seafaring, and the hidden land in the book of Joel it mentions that the children of Israel would be sold to the Grecians away far from their border from their coast so we understand the tribe of Dan and them losing their inheritance and the sunken continent in the story of, of Adon and we understand a lord a master Adon and the jaguar lords and the crossing of Amur Amurakans over into the Asiatic regions now, when we understand this, this is where we get the Negus and the reference to the Christians and the Red Mounds. We understand the ancient people that came from the Virgo, from the mother, and crossed over during this time of the winter solstice, making their mark to begin their buildup into the Passover and all of these other celebrations that we see documented and narrated as holy days, significant with pilgrimages. So the Niger, the Negus, and the traveling along these horizons, when we look at the tribe of Dan and the Adder and the biting of the, you know, the the heel, Jacob, Akibalon, and these lands, and how these lands were taken, when we look at uh, Jacob, the heel catcher, and the signs of the cross, the significance of the seasons, the great Ma'ors, the great architects, the ones that designated these ancient travels and written these things when we look at the book of Enoch, um, one of the first ones to write. So the Niger and then a goose and these travelers, the, the Nahar, the river and Adan in this territory over Jordan and the crossing over Jordan. This land of Adan, Eden, when we look at the tribe of Adan and Eden and the, the, them being a serpent, an adder in the way, and the Naga, the serpents, Naga serpents, and the guardians of this underworld, Austral regions of the Southern Pacific. Not only do the Tanim and actual whales make this journey as well during this time, but these guardians and this mythos was also delegated to the solar and lunar mythos. So when we look at Lemuria and the second continent here, this region of Mu, and understanding Amu and Amen, the hidden land, the new world, and these crossings from the time of the Virgo, from the mother, as we see the Oracle Bone script and many other scripts that we find here in these Asiatic regions. We have to understand that Jacob, who was the son of Rebecca, took Esau, man, we look at Asia, gloomy. Right? And saw the in the vowels in Asia in these regions so and the Jacob, lands that Israel, Jacob took. You have to understand Canaan, the Naga Serpent and, and the oppression Egypt. in these this regions that were caused Joshua by the Asiatic travels. When we look at these things historically, we see things such as the Hyksos. We have to understand that the Asiatics look at the land of dead to establish these civilizations as invaders into ancient 